Tom, let's, let's start with you. You can tell us about where the idea for the show came from. I was just trying to find a way with de to deal with the fact that I came out here to write screenplays. So I just sat down and wrote this, and you know, I just thought it would be a writing sample. And then all of a sudden, um, I realized it was a terrible screenplay. I just put it in a drawer, and my wife read it a year later, and she said, you know, you're right, it does suck, but <laughs> somewhere in the first 60 pages is the best thing you've ever done. My agent sent it out around town, and people jumped up and down for it, and then Showtime read it. And then next thing you know, we were making the thing. The sex scenes, are they, are they difficult to, to play? And Evan, I guess you start. Um, I didn't start doing any real sex or nudity until I was in my 40s. And, and oddly, it's turned out that the older I get and the more weight I gain, the more producers want me to take my clothing off. <laughs> that's, that's how I take it. I mean, it's just a, it's, it's an acting challenge having to do with um, bringing some audacity to your game. And, getting over the initial inhibition and, and just trying to find something funny. Um, I mean, that's what I try to do. I try to find something truthful and something funny. That's what we're all after, I think, every day. <laughs> I, I'm just going to pitch in there. This is how open Tom is during the rehearsal period before we did the pilot. And I say, listen, I've just had an epiphany. I think she should be French. <laughs> For two days, they sat there and suffered. Me playing Karen as a French woman. She talked like that, you know, she's very crazy with Hank and she's throwing my many plates and she's kicking him and she my wants to make love to him. Was, my name was Hank. Hank. That is, <laughs> was the main reason I wanted to play it like that. I wanted to call him Hank. When I first did the pilot, my husband was like, oh God, men are going to love this. And women are the ones who grab me and they, they say, oh, I love that show, I relate to it so much. And it's just, it, it's been an amazing thing to watch its ascension. And I think this season that we're shooting right now is the best one ever. It's unbelievable. David, you've uh, directed some of the episodes, right? And uh, yeah, to talk about what it's like to direct oneself. Um, I, I, it's really not directing myself that's that interesting. Uh, it, it's, it's getting to boss these guys around. Really, as a director, uh, when you sit back and you watch... And, and you have Tom's scripts which, and the writer's scripts, which are terrific, but you watch the actors really make it human and, and, and make it beautiful. Does it ever get frustrating for you uh, when the Emmys roll around? I, I think I'm so challenged and satisfied by the daily working experience and, and the uh, product, you know, the end show that we make, that I d don't... You know, the, the rest of the stuff is just kind of gravy, you know, and if, if, if it comes, then that's wonderful, and if it doesn't, uh, we're, still, we're still winning. Can I, can I just add to that? I don't really know what Emmys are, because I'm not <laughs> from here, <laughs> but can I just say that, uh, and I'm sure they're wonderful, um, <laughs> but, but I've always found it completely absurd that actors who have the best job in the world then get awarded for having so much fun. It seems crazy to me. So I think we're all so lucky to be in this show and to be going to work every day as actors, because 99% of us are out of work, that it would be very churlish to be disappointed not to be nominated. <laughs>